Hello everyone, I am Dr. Aditya Sai from the Shoulder and Knee Clinic. Welcome again to our channel. So this is a part 3 of the Shoulder Instability series. So today we are going to discuss about arthroscopic procedures which can be done if there is significant bone loss in the shoulder. So just to recap, when you have a shoulder instability, typically the shoulder dislocates in the front, the shoulder comes out again and again, there is a ligament tear in the front of the shoulder and over a period of time, the socket or the glenoid starts wearing out. There is a hole that develops on the humeral head or the ball, which is known as a hill sex lesion. So in the previous video, we discussed about ligament tears and how we address them arthroscopically. Now we will talk about arthroscopic management of bony deficiency. So, as discussed previously, generally a CT and an MRI is done to assess the severity of bone loss in your shoulder. Once we are clear about that, how much bone loss is there, what are the ligament injuries. So, let's say we get to a figure where there is a bone loss between 10 to 20 percent. So, in this scenario, the question is, do we do a full open surgery like a Latage procedure? or we just do a soft tissue reconstruction. So typically, if bone loss is not addressed, especially between the 15 to 20% group in active individuals, it can lead to a recurrence. In the 10 to 15% age group, it's very activity specific and individual specific. So if they are just doing a sedentary job, we can choose to not address the bone deficiency, but in highly active individuals, still that option can be considered. So, this is known as a subcritical bone loss. So, when subcritical bone loss in the shoulder is present, then we have the option of arthroscopically augmenting the bone loss. So, the procedure is known as bone block circlage. So, essentially, from the back of your shoulder or the scapular spine, we can take a small bone graft, or from iliac crest, we can take a bone graft. So typically the iliac crest is the most common site in the body used for bone grafting procedures. It's quite safe and not without any long term issues. So from either the side bone graft is taken, arthroscopically the bone graft is inserted into the shoulder and fixed on to the areas of bone loss with the help of high tensile sutures known as fiber tape circlage system. So the advantage of a fiber tape circlage system is that it gives a very good compression of the bone between the glenoid and the bone graft we are done. There is no metallic implant inside and it shows good results in the long term. When we do this procedure, in addition to doing these procedures, the ligament injuries as we discussed in the previous videos are also addressed. So both aspects, the bone loss as well as the ligament injuries are addressed and it gives you a good long-term result. The other advantage of this procedure over Latarge procedure is that there is no metallic implant, no metal screws used here. So as the bone integrates with uh, the glenoid over a period of time, you don't have any metallic implants in your shoulder. The third aspect is the Latarge procedure. Although it has got good results, but it also has inherent risks and issues. The other aspect is changes the anatomy of the shoulder, which we are not doing in this procedure. So bone block circlage is a very successful procedure and has good long term results. Typically post the surgery, the individual can be discharged on the same day or the next day of the procedure since it's an arthroscopy. Uh, initially activities like writing, typing and all those things are started. Lifting your shoulder is restricted for the first six weeks after the procedure, but with the help of support that can be done and with gradual physiotherapy, it takes around four to five months to recover the full shoulder function and movement. So this is a minimally invasive procedure which doesn't change the shoulder anatomy and gives you a good result.